It's 1990. Vanilla Ice is enjoying his recent climb to superstardom after the success of his number one hit single, Ice Ice Baby, which was also hip hop's first number one hit in the country, and introducing hip hop to a mainstream audience, skyrocketing his album to the extreme to number one on Billboard, which stayed at the top for 16 weeks, selling 2 million records in only five weeks. Reaching the pinnacle of a new artist bringing home four AMAs for his hit album. While Ice was enjoying the fame, other people weren't so excited for his newfound success, like Mario Johnson, who goes by Chocolate. Originally from Texas, where he met and worked with Vanilla Ice, he would tell everyone who would listen how he wrote almost 10 songs for Vanilla Ice, including his hit single, Ice Ice Baby, but unfortunately was taken off the credits once it hit big. Even worse, he was only paid for six songs out of those 10. This news didn't sit well with his new manager, Suge Knight, who was unknown at the time but looking to make it big in the music business. Suge Knight had an invested interest in making sure his client received all his just due because recently he put together a deal with music executive Virgil Roberts, getting his client $400,000 up front and most importantly, Suge was getting a 25% cut of all his profits. Vanilla Ice is visiting California working on some new music and whether whose side you're picking about who deserves writing credits, according to his own DJ slash producer, DJ Earthquake, whenever a new beat was made, Ice was known to take it from the studio to write the lyrics to, which would be kind of weird to never see a rapper write any lyrics to a song. So now on this particular night, while staying at his hotel in LA, he was working on some new songs, so he reached out to his old friend, Chocolate, and asked him to come check out some of the new music he was working on. Only problem, he didn't know Chocolate was upset about not getting paid or receiving credit. Vanilla Ice told him where he was staying and also to come alone. This was perfect news for Chocolate's new manager, Suge Knight, who was ready to show the music industry he meant business, deciding to take this matter of his client not receiving music credit into his own hands, telling Chocolate, I'm going with you. So the both of them, along with Suge's security, left to go pay Vanilla Ice a visit. Back on Vanilla Ice Society, stepped out with his security to grab a quick bite. Being one of the biggest stars in the world at this time, it was a normal occurrence to be swarmed by fans. And unaware to him, Chocolate and Suge arrived at the hotel, bringing along his muscle for security. When they found out Vanilla Ice was away, they decided to invite themselves in, taking the elevator up to his room. Ice got a call that Chocolate was waiting on him at the hotel. So he quickly said goodbye to his fans and headed back. He was excited about getting back to work on some new music. Once they arrived, he wasn't aware of what was waiting for him on the other side. Soon as he entered his room, him and his security were shocked. Seeing Chocolate with what looked like a football team one of Vanilla Ice's security quickly pulled his weapon out. What you thinking, punk? Now to tell you the truth, I forgot my When unfortunately, he was no match for one of Shug's baby hulks of security. Even when his other security stepped up, he was quickly taken out. Vanilla Ice couldn't believe what he was witnessing and was even more scared when Suge's security was now focused on him. They forced him to Suge, who was waiting for him in front of his open balcony, telling him to come outside for a talk. Ice approaches Suge. Scared, he asked, what's up? Suge replied, look over the balcony. So he looks over and is quickly reminded they are 15 floors up. And as he's looking, Suge leans in and says, you're going to sign these papers here, showing him a contract he brought with him, explained how he knew about Chocolate not getting paid, and they were here to collect, requesting four points of his royalties for his hit records, which at the time was close to an equivalent of three to four million dollars. Vanilla Ice replied, okay, I get the picture, I'll sign it, and sign over the publishing rights to his album to Suge Knight, giving Suge one of his final pieces needed to complete his mission of starting his own record label. And Vanilla Ice was just as excited as Suge to walk away 
alive. And Suge now will soon after go on his quest starting Death Row Records. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our other videos like the sad story about Tupac's father figures or also how Jay-Z made it out of the streets. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more. And thank you for the support.